The House failed to pick a speaker on its first attempt today, and Republican dissension is to blame. Uh, lawmakers will take another shot at it tomorrow morning at 11. Uh, Fox's Caroline Shively has the story from Washington tonight. The speaker has not been elected. 20 Republican holdouts stood in the way of what could be House Speaker Jim Jordan. We're going to keep working and we're going to get to the votes. On Tuesday, Mr. Jordan failed his first test when the vote went to the House floor, despite a right-wing push to boost him. I think some of the pressure campaigns have backfired. They have not worked. Republican disunity all too familiar after Kevin McCarthy was booted from the position two weeks ago by party hardliners. Ever since, a coalition of Republicans angry at that situation have refused to give Jordan a promotion. Some are even scared of his hard right policies and his take on the Capitol riot. There's no way we win the majority if the message we send to the American people is that we believe that the uh, election uh, was, was stolen and we believe that uh, January 6th was okay. And now the House is in a holding pattern with rounds of votes that could be in store. Without a leader, the lower chamber hasn't been able to fully operate for days and counting amid a Middle East war and a looming government shut down. We got to wake up and stop this nonsense. There's, there's real serious work to be done. While both sides want to restore the order, Democrats say Jordan is too extreme to lead. The Speaker of the House is second in line to the presidency, only behind the vice president. I'm glad he lost. His election would cement mega control over the Republican Party in America. The next speaker vote is expected to happen Wednesday. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.